Seriously. That was a cool thing. Love Danny. That was cool. He might have learned day of, too, just like I learned of all them. Sure. Nonetheless, <laughs> he at least acted like he knew who I was, said what's up to Gumpy. was very nice to him. Coach Hardy, though, 34 years old, first head coaching opportunity. He's in there. He's fiery, handsome. Yeah. And uh, Kelly Olinick. Kelly Olinick, who I've seen play for oh, a yeah. long time with the long hair out of Canada. I guess this year, not putting up as many threes, or maybe in the game wasn't putting up as many threes. You pump fake it and then kind of make a play for somebody else. So in the first half, he's sitting in a corner, gets the ball, wide open shot, pops it, and then moves. And Coach Hardy goes, we need Kelly to shoot a fucking three. Like, <laughs> as he's wide. And he's pretty, he's pretty, like, this guy was pretty animated. Oh, yeah. Very cool. Pretty animated, though, and I'm, like, right there in the fucking huddle watching this whole thing happen. So Kelly gets another one, I think, in the second quarter, and he pops the guy. The guy jumps in, he dishes it, and he goes, that three would have been fucking awesome. I, I forget how he said it, but he was, like, wording it back to somebody. So at halftime, I go to Dwayne Wade. I go, Kelly, Kelly doesn't shoot threes or what? He goes, I played with Kelly. Kelly is so smart. Like, Kelly is the smartest guy on the court whenever he's on the court. So he's reading the guy, and if he pops it, he thinks that's the right decision or whatever. So, yeah, he'll shoot a three, great shooter of a three or whatever. I'm like, sweet, sweet. So here I am now. You know, I've had a couple of nice cold caffeines. Oh, yeah. Nice oh, yeah. cold, uh, ice, ice cold caffeines right. out there in Utah. Mm -hmm. Maybe some things that would potentially land you in jail for a year out there. Had to make those disappear. Yeah, Because mm -hmm. if they're just laying around, you can't know, have it. can't do that. Trouble. So Kelly goes to check in in the third quarter. He's standing right next to me here. Okay, owner's right here, obviously, incredibly kind. His wife's right next to him, incredibly kind. Two kids, got to meet two, two uh, I think they have four or five kids. Got, everybody's so freaking nice. Like, two, so nice, so really hospitable. Cool. Kelly's standing right here on the thing. I go, Kelly, you hit a three this half. I'll donate $10,000 to a charity of your choice. And he goes, really? I go, yes, I absolutely will. And he goes, all right, he checks in. So I think I put the owner in an awkward position there. Sure. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? I, as soon Probably. as it came out of my mouth, I was like, oh, fucking idiot. Why are you going to do that? You know, Gumpy pumped about it, though. <laughs> Gumpy's like, oh, 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 laughing. Like, yeah, let's do this. Fourth quarter. They're battling back and forth. Seriously. L.A. Clippers are making a big-time comeback, a big-time run. Utah Jazz are battling this whole thing. Kelly gets the ball in the corner. Fucking pop. Splash. This is the second one. Back-to-back -back wow. drives. Kelly just pulls it. He's right there walking, motherfucker, <laughs> like right there in front of me. And then I'm going crazy. And then immediately after the game, uh, yeah, Ryan heard the whole thing. There's the owner. Yep, 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 yep. He's shooting it. I'm just slapping the shit out of him. Uh, there's Dwayne Wade going bananas because he obviously heard about the conversation at halftime. And then afterwards, I got a message from Kelly. It was like, yeah, hey, two of them things, right? <laughs> <laughs> so that's 20000 And uh, he gave me the foundation to donate to. And, yeah, it was, it, was the coolest, it was the coolest basketball experience I've ever had. And I'm very, very grateful to the Utah Jazz for being so hospitable. And, hey, let's go win one. Yeah. Hey, go. Utah, let's go, let's go Jazz. Yeah. Why not? Let's go win one. It's going to be tough, but let's go win one. Why not? Some... Dogs, though, and the way they set up their stadium. Like, they put that owner's, like, sweet section, obviously not on the floor, no shit, but it is right when you walk through. So there is no travel whatsoever for anybody. It's it, it loud, too. It's a loud house. Yep. It is a loud. They built it to be loud. Hey, man. I was told that's every game, too. Even a Tuesday night, that place is going to be very yeah, two, loud. 251 straight sellouts or something like that, 18,000-something. Wow.